Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 114. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. I still cannot work out what's causing these stutters on my PC. Um, like my frame rate is just fluctuating between, it's nothing substantial. It's fluctuating between like 56 and 59. But there is something on my PC that's causing this and I don't know why. Looks like a new playthrough of a rally series, lol. I might do. Not a, like a, um, what's it called? A YouTube playthrough, not yet. Because I gotta finish Forza first, but... I might load up the rally sport games and do like... Play through it here and there. Obviously not for a month or two. Because I want to finish... I want to finish Motorsport 3, get as much as I can do, do out of that, because potentially I might end up with about a month where I won't have to stream Forza, and there will just be like a month worth of videos left to go up, um, in which case that would be good for me, because I can just crack on with it. Oh, by the way, I've upgraded the car finally. I said I was going to do it earlier, but I forgot, so I've done it now. But obviously, as soon as I finish Motorsport... Actually, no, it'd be Horizon 5. So as soon as I finish Horizon 5... Um... Yeah, once I finish Horizon 5, I'll be moving on to WRC 1 and doing the WRC series. And after that, who knows? I know that's my minimum, though, that I want to do. Obviously, got to try and finish Forza, though. Because this is like a... Almost like a, a lifelong goal that I've been trying to do for ages finish every single Forza game because once I've done that I can say I've finished every Forza game fuck yeah let's go it's like you and oh you bitch bitch At least it's not like 15 fucking minutes for this championship per race. The last one was nearly like 15 minutes a race. Stupid. I'll be honest though. I'm not a fan. Like, I, I know Rhino's done, um, did the B-Spec. Uh, I'm not sure which ones he did it for. I think it was just GT5, wasn't it? And I think GT3, because GT3 had a B-Spec game. But I don't think Gran Turismo 4 actually had B-Spec, other than for the endurance stuff. But I, I'm not 100% sure if he did it. But yeah, GT5 had the full, like, B-Spec experience. And he obviously did that, but the difference between GT... With how, um... Yeah, but, like, the way that Gran Turismo 4 did B-Spec, it just wasn't the front of the game. Whereas, on Gran Turismo 5, specifically, it was, like, two separate playthroughs. 
you play through as you're the driver, and then you had to almost do a different career where you were controlling drivers. Even though you could use your cars, so it wasn't like you had to buy new cars or anything, but there was a completely different section dedicated to B-Spec. GZ4, it wasn't really that focused, except for um, you could do B-Spec if you went into the pit lane and swapped out your driver. But I don't think you could actually do just straight up say, oh yeah, I can't be asked to do this race, B-Spec it. Then again, I might be wrong. Might have just not paid attention. I mean, to be fair, I didn't realise that in all of the Forza games, like Forza Motorsport 1, 2, and 3, you could just hire a driver tire to drive for you. Did not realise that. Even in Motorsport 3, you can do it. I think. I think you can do it in this game. Oh, well. If you can't, you can't. If you can, you can. But yeah. Like, Rhino GT is fucking crazy with how how good he can do racing games. Like, it, he's brilliant at some of them. Like, the fact that he can play through the Gran Turismos and stuff like that, like, they are difficult racing games. He, he's a talented bloke when it comes to it. Me, I'm, I'm not comparable, but... I do very much enjoy my racing games. Very much enjoy them. I think I saw a video the other day, Rhino's playing um, Yakuza, which is kind of interesting because he's like been a racing game channel all this time. I haven't really seen anything other than racing, so... When I saw Yakuza coming up in my feed, I was like, huh? Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. But, like, if ever I'm um, stuck on a race, like, especially Motorsport 1, uh, the classic sports car stuff, I will admit I was completely stumped as to how I was supposed to do that um, on my first playthrough when I did it before so my first YouTube playthrough of Motorsport 1 was a bit messy because I'll be totally honest I had no fucking clue what I was doing um, and I literally had to watch about seven or eight videos off of Rhino just to work out like Hang on, so I need this car, but I can't get this car, so whereabouts has he got the car? Um, and basically, I just worked out the easiest way to do it was to play some of the levels in advance, but then push it back in the YouTube playthrough so that it made sense. And, like, I wasn't just doing a race out of the ordinary and whatnot. Oh yeah, he's done the Pokemons and Final Fantasies as well. I forgot about that. Yeah, fair enough. Because uh, Rhino, I believe, has played through Motorsports 1 to 4. Um, which is sort of what I'm, I've been using. To sort of structure how I want to tackle this. Because going in blind to a game as big as Motorsport 3 and Motorsport 4 is a bit unnerving, if that makes sense. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, you've been here... 
Was it like right, right at the start, or? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Because we started it, was it? Start of April this year, so. Technically, I started it um, back in September 2020, I believe. I want to say September 2020. Maybe August 2020. That's when I was going to do it. And then I didn't. <laughs> this is like my second attempt to try and do it. But to be fair, my first attempt, I only did Motorsport 1. So I just ended up re-recording the whole of Motorsport 1. And to be fair, when I came to redo Motorsport 1, it had been long enough that I didn't get bored of that game. So. Yeah. I mean, all of my VODs are uh, pretty much... Oh, I haven't been uploading them, have I? Though, to be fair, I haven't played anything other than Motorsport. I just don't, I don't keep my motorsport VODs up on Twitch because, like, if you want to watch the motorsport stuff, just watch it on YouTube, you know. You know how everyone, uh, not everyone, but most people will have like one, they'll have like favorite artists that they love, but they'll have one obscure artist that barely anyone has heard of, barely anyone listens to but they just absolutely will vibe with it. This is my obscure artist. A hundred million percent. Which is really confusing because they've had their music featured in Need for Speed, in Forza Motorsport, Forza Horizon, and yet, I, d I don't even know what their monthly listeners are on Spotify, but it's like, Not even in the hundreds of thousands. Like, it's in tens of thousands, which is fairly obscure nowadays in modern music. Like, most artists will have at least a hundred thousand being a hundred thousand monthly lessons, easily. So. Nyong. <laughs> I'm actually curious to find out how many monthly lessons this guy gets. Can I see it on Tidal? Does it say? No, of course not. Why would it? Tidal doesn't show you that information. Uh, ow. Ow. Ah. Right. Yeah, so it's 51,000 monthly listeners for uh, Royalson, which is... Again, pretty small for an artist, but... His music is just fucking cracking. <laughs> Let's go, Porsche. I think as well, this is the last Forza game that had Porsche. Except for Motorsport 7. Yes. Because it's not really... I don't know. Minecraft music is just... Annoying. 
Like, the amount that... The fact that Minecraft had... That mu... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I turned it off, to be fair. Because it got so annoying. Every time I, like, loaded Minecraft and it was there, I'd be like, mute. Be gone. Don't play C418 again. Though it would be quite funny to be able to learn how to play that. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Eyes wide, oh, hi, I see you there, you smile. This used to be, like, the music I would listen to when I was working in college, so I've definitely listened to this song a lot. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. It was one of those things that was like, it was enough to keep you hyped up, but it was a fairly calm sort of like introduction and whatnot that when you were listening to it it's actually quite a calming song overall you obviously get these drops and this is what hypes you up but yeah majority of the song was quite calming Galantis, I believe I know what they are. Is that, they're the band that makes peanut butter jelly, right? Spread it like peanut butter jelly. Do it like I owe you some money. Because if it, if it's that band that I'm thinking of, then yeah, they've they got some good songs, but I think their their music palette is more hit and miss. They have some really, really good tunes, though. Really, really good tunes. Yeah. Peanut Butter Jelly is one of them. Um, Runaway, You and I is a good one. I wanna run away. So good that it was featured in Horizon 3. Hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? You got a boyfriend <laughs> and kiss, yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake, it's been a while since I've heard that. That was like start of TikTok, wasn't it? When TikTok became a thing. God, that's been a few years. Sorry, I ain't got no money. I'm not... Yeah, that's, um... On the stream playlist. No money. Um, run away, you and I. And... Uh, peanut butter jelly. Those are the three songs I got on my stream vibes playlist. I need to get some more of these Ralston songs on my playlist as well. Oh, and I found... I found an album right. Of... Pretty much... it. All of the songs on it, they're not featured in Motorstorm, but the vibes that they give off are like Motorstorm soundtrack vibes. The entire album. Like, I've listened to the album like three times in the past 24 hours. <laughs> the same album, three times in 24 hours, which is quite a bit for me because I normally like to vary what I'm listening to. So. 
And the album's like an hour and 20 minutes long as well. Not like the short shit that most artists put out now. It's like 45 minutes of songs and then, oh yeah, that's it. That's me done for the next three years. Meow. Still waiting for Nero to release an album. Come on, it's been eight years now. Eight years. Wait. No. Seven and a half. It's been seven and a half years since they released an album. And they told us a new one was coming soon, like... Last August. <laughs> a year and a half ago, nearly. <coughs> tell you now though if Nero did release a new album like tomorrow or whatnot that would become my album of the year guaranteed because Nero makes some tunes I will be disappointed if Nero do release a new album and it only be like it if they've spent seven and a half years on an album and it's less than an hour long, like, that's just disappointing. Like, there are movies that are filmed. Like, big budget movies that are filmed that last longer than an hour. And take less than seven years to make. I mean, Nero, uh, like, last month released a fucking remix. Just a skill issue. <laughs> it's not the fact that they don't have skill, because they're, like, fucking talented individuals, but... They procrastinate too much, that's the word. Like, a lot of people think that Nero, like, I was reading, like, fucking Twitter threads and shit like that. A lot of people think that the reason they're not releasing it is because they just don't think they can beat their last album. I'll be quite honest, their first album was better than their second. So, I think it's quite easy to beat their second album. Even though the second album had some songs that were just phenomenal. I think overall, the first album as a whole was better. So, I don't know. Go, go, go! Let's go! Do, 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 Tits, tits, tits. Fuck. That didn't go too well. Rem, 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 rem. Oh yeah, we get to drive the Murcielago next.
Do 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 do. <laughs> the pink one. You had to drive the pink car. The bright pink one. I can't believe. Cannot believe that you asked me. Didn't you do it with uh, the Koenigsegg as well? Told me to paint that hot pink. Oh, this is the final lap. Let's go. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Why did Twitch ban the word fucking pink? Skill issue by Twitch. Honestly, Twitch auto mod is so terrible. Because half the time, Twitch auto mod acts like a snowflake and thinks that every comment is a hate comment. Which is just stupid. And then the other half of the time, it just doesn't work. Like, someone can type in literal racism and it's just like, yeah, that's fine. It's just such a confusing... The Twitch bot... The, the Twitch bot is literally bipolar. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Drive, you fat bastard. Right, there we go. Very nice. Yeah, because I only think I'm going to get three done today. Three episodes today. And then we'll try and do... I'll try and do four tomorrow, because then that means I can have an easier Sunday. But Four tomorrow? Four on Friday. Get my days right. Question is, what do I play tonight? Do I play your truck? Bitch. Who decided that it's a good idea to do eight laps around this track? It takes like two and a half minutes for each lap. This is literally going to be a 20 minute race. Fucking hell. Mm -hmm. 
Waves. Love awaits. Drive, pig. Yeah, 2 minute 34. Timed up by 4 is 10 minutes. Timed up by 2 again. 8 laps. 20 minutes. I want some game dev company to release a game with 10 times the amount of events as FM4 has. That would be fun for my mental state. It's quite easy to do that. It's just how much time developers want to put in add-in events and stuff like that. A lot of the time, developers will develop a game and not put in enough beyond content. Um, which is kind of a shame, because game devs are like, Oh yeah, 20, 50 races, that should be fine. But like, that's not fine. People want more events than that. So the people who are more hardcore fans for a certain game, like would want more events. So, and to be perfectly honest, I think a game dev... Here's a... An act, this is the first time I've thought of this, but it could actually be fairly true. I think a lot of the time, game developers are not focusing. Because they're looking for the quick buck. More than... Like... The loyal bucks. If that makes sense. Which doesn't make sense. But it seems to be what developers are doing. Especially like, you look at Gran Turismo 7. I think a lot of what they've done has been aimed to get more people in buying Gran Turismo 7. To get more people buying microtransactions. And to pay for that stuff in the game. Rather than focusing on their core fans. The one that will play their game more. That will enjoy the game more. I really think they focused a lot more on... The short term money gains. If developers focus more on what their fans want... They would easily put in more events. A couple more cars. Give it a little more time between each game because the more stuff they add means that it justifies the more time between each game, you know. Like, if they released a Need for Speed game every three years, but there was so much content in it, that you'd be good for a good few years. As compared to how they did do Need for Speed, where they added barely any content for two years of development. Like, Need for Speed died out so quick because of that. And no. I will say that is a lot of races, but... I mean, you look at games like The Crew 2 and The Crew. They spent four years between each game, but The Crew 2 had so much content 
before they even started adding the side stuff, like the stories and that, they had so much content already to do that I was playing that game for at least two years, at least once a week, for about three or four hours every week. Uh, I played a fuck ton of the crew too. The only reason I stopped playing? Stopped playing on Xbox, I couldn't be asked to earn all my cars back. I'll come back to it in 10 years time and then go, let's play again, you know. But then again, I probably won't because the game is very live service based. And in 10 years time, it's probably going to look like a cesspit. That's the one thing um, about life service that I don't like, is it doesn't age well. You look at all these games that were basically just, they made the game and then once it released, that was it. They didn't do anything else to it. Those kind of games have aged a lot better than live service things. You look at games like... Mm, I don't know, I can't really think of an example right now. I'm trying to think of a live service game that isn't running now anymore. Because most of the live service games they do just keep running for longer than they should do. Um, CSGO. That's a great one. It's still going. But. It doesn't look great. It's seen its time. Um, Fortnite. Absolute cesspit. Just random stuff. Um... I mean, even when you think about, like, Call of Duties, for example, a lot of the earlier Call of Duties are a lot easier to pick up and play through because they've not been this live service cesspit. I mean, you look at Call of Duty World War 2, Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is a really bad one. Like, that was a proper kept update in it. To the point that it, it, it was a shit show by the time it sort of became dead. Forza, on the other hand, even though some of the games are meh. They still hold up, historically. Like, they still hold up as, like, pretty solid games. You look at this. This game didn't get the live service treatment. It's 13 years old now. And I'm still coming back to it and thoroughly enjoying it. Thoroughly enjoying it. I mean, I, I really hope this new Need for Speed game is going to hold up in the long run. I think it will do. It's, it seems quite enjoyable, the structure that they've done. Uh, I just hope that structure sort of continues. Uh, and I haven't tried the online either yet, so I doubt I will do, to be honest. I don't think the Crew 2's problem was the fact that, like, a lot of people say, oh, why did they add planes into the Crew 2? That just made it a bad game. Like, 
I think the fact that the crew two had planes and boats and everything like that was a really, really good move. The fact that you could have this variety. I think the problem with the crew two is um, because of its focus on cars. A lot of people that bought the Crew 2 were just people who ra did racing games and... Oh look, there's boats and planes in it as an extra. But the fact is... They've got this massive map. They have such a missed opportunity because the Crew 2 has such a massive map. And yet, the physics are so terrible that no one can cruise around and... Just chill. On a steering wheel or whatnot. You can't cruise you can't explore because it is this really so like I'm not even joking need for speed all of the need for speed games feel more realistic than the crew 2's handling model like we've obviously always compared like how arcadey and how simulation-y a game's handling feels based on if it feels like I racing or if it feels like Need for Speed. But like the Crew 2 is so much more of an arcade game than Need for Speed. It deserves to be lower down into the depths of arcadiness. And that's just such a missed opportunity for the Crew 2 because it's so arcade. I think when they rename the Crew 2, because. It looks like they're going to rename it to that motor, motor flex or whatever it is that they've done for half of the Crew 2 game with all this like monthly season stuff. I think that's what they're going to call the next Crew game. And I think if they do that, that is their opportunity to change the handling model to a more Simcade experience. And if they do that, could be a good game. But that is their opportunity to change it. Because it's a new named game. It's, it's completely different. It's like a fresh light. As soon as you change the name of a game, it's a fresh light. You have no history. You have nothing, pretty much. Even if it's coming from the same franchise, it's still a fresh light. Yo, what up, Tag? How are you today? Get out the fucking wall. It's like, um, Grid. Grid actually isn't its own franchise. Grid wasn't the start of the Grid franchise. It actually started from a racing game called Toka. And they had, uh, Toka 1, Toka 2, Toka 3, Toka Race Driver, then Race Driver Grid. Um, so... That sort of race driver grid was their fresh slate, and they did a good job with that. I think the crew should do something similar with theirs. Uh, English is my language. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Tag. Thank you so much for asking, man. Do 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 do. Beep beep, bitch. Get out my way. English is my city. <laughs> beep, beep. I'm a sheep. I said beep, beep. I'm a sheep. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm kind of gutted that, like, Tom Scar just doesn't make as much videos as he used to. Like, he's had... Yes, cheers. It's called facial hair. <laughs> ah, you bastard. Um, yeah, I think it's a shame that Tom Scar just pretty much has had that content creation drought. Ha <laughs> ha! Congrats, Tack. You passed your eye test. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. I crashed. I wasn't wrong when I said this was going to be a 20 minute race. It's literally getting close to 20 minutes. Did it again. Um, yeah, the crew... The Crew 2 has a chance for a clean slate to make a really good game. And, I mean, to get Ubisoft a good reputation back. Because, let's be honest, Ubisoft have ruined Rainbow Six Siege. That was a super fun game, and then they ruined it. So, that's in the bin. I suppose, but, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's just run out of ideas. I don't think what he does is the same jokes. I think he's just run out of ideas. Um, Technically, it's easy to run out of ideas. Technically, it's not. It all depends on how creative you are when you think about it. It's like Minecraft. Some people, for example, Wolfie, can play Minecraft for 10 plus years. I don't see how you can do that. But clearly, Wolfie has so many ideas that he can play Minecraft for 10 years. It's sort of a similar thing, like... He's clearly just run out of ideas. And I mean, that makes sense. That kind of thing happens. I'll be honest. I think... Yeah, I wish I was that creative. <laughs> um, what's the same? Um... I can't what I'm saying. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, the older games that they ruined. The new Far Cry game was terrible. So, that... That was bad. Assassin's Creed Valhalla... It was good. But... I don't know. It just didn't have the charm that the other games had. I don't know why people hate on... The new trilogy of Assassin's Creed games, the Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla, because they are very good games, just... I don't know. I think that's the only game that Assassin's Creed is actually... Uh, not Assassin's Creed, Ubisoft has made, where I can genuinely say, ah, Ubisoft has made a good game. Valhalla, Odyssey, and Origins. Anything else? Uh, went quite downhill for them. Pretty much. I blame it on them making their own launcher. Because every game that they've made, other than Valhalla, since they've had their own Ubisoft launcher on PC, has been shit. So, maybe it, that's the reason. <laughs> maybe. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.